Who can remember what book in the Bible that we're learning from at the moment? What is it? Good job, Shamus. Genesis. And who, who remembers where in the Bible Genesis is? Hadley? One. It's the, what does one mean? Do you think the first book? The first book in the Bible? It is. Um, we've been learning about how God promised um, Abraham that he would be the father of many nations. And we learned that he um, fulfilled that promise by giving Abraham a son called... What's Abraham's son name? Isaac. Good job. Yeah. So... Today we're going to be learning a bit more about Isaac's story and we're up to chapter 24 in the book of Genesis. Now let's see if I can... Oops, wrong way. There, right. Okay, so in today's passage, see here we've got Isaac and there's a a girl, a woman here. We're going to learn um, how Abraham, Isaac's dad, decided that it was time for Isaac to get married. Now in these times and in these cultures, Mums and dads decided who, or dads probably decided who their kids were going to marry. So Abraham said it's time for Isaac to marry. Abraham got his best servant. Oh, wrong way. There we go. The, the picture up on the screen might be a bit better. This one didn't come out very well here. So you can see that Abraham um, is asking his very most trusted servant and he's sending him with all these camels to a faraway land. He's sending him to a different land, not the one that they were living in. They were living in the land of the Canaanites. They didn't want, he didn't want his son Isaac to marry one of the women there. He wanted to send him back to the land where he was from. So he sent his trusted servant on a journey. So Abraham's servant set off on his journey knowing that he had a very important job to do and he wanted to make sure that he found exactly the right wife for Isaac. And when he arrived, he stopped at a well outside the city and he prayed and asked God to show him which girl that he should choose. So Kennedy's going to read um, just a little passage from the Bible. Can you, you might have to go nice and loud. So <laughs> The servant said, Can you hear that? Yep. Lord, you are the God of my master Abraham. Allow me to find a wife for his son today. Please show this kindness to my master Abraham. Here I am, standing by the spring of water. The girls from the city are coming out to get water. I will say to one of the girls, please put your jar down so I can drink. Then let her say, drink, and I will also give water to your camels. If that happens, I will know she is the right one for your servant Isaac, and I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. And you know what? This is exactly what happened. There was a girl named Rebecca there, and she gave, offered both Isaac, I mean the servant, sorry, and the camels a drink. And so... The servant knew immediately that this is the woman that Isaac wanted to marry, uh, was should should marry. Sorry. Now, yep, that's it. We learn from this book in Genesis, from this account in Genesis. Sorry, that God can help us make good decisions. We can see from this very important decision about who Isaac was going to marry, who he should marry, that there were three things in particular that we can remember when making decisions. Okay, so we're going to have a look at what those three things were. The first thing that we should pay attention to is from the servant. Can anyone remember what the servant did when he got to the well? Seamus? He asked God. That's right. Have you? You're a clever boy. (laughs) You've been looking at the slides. He did. He asked God. He asked God for help because he wanted to make sure that he was choosing the right wife for Isaac. And we read in other books in the Bible, in Matthew and James and other places, that if we ask God with the right heart, that God will answer our prayers. And a lot of the time, our prayers aren't answers because we don't actually even ask God in the first place. We need to ask God. We need to go to him with all our needs. And when we're making decisions, we need to ask God for help. He's the first one that we should go to. The second thing that we want you to pay attention to is from Abraham. Now, Abraham wanted to do what was right in God's eyes. He wanted a wife for Isaac that um, would honour God. So the people where they lived didn't worship God. They worshipped other gods. And so he wanted a wife that would honor, for Isaac that would honour God. So he sent. that's why he sent him there. And that's why he was, he was asking for this help with this decision because he wanted to honour God with it. Um, if Jesus is our boss, when we're making decisions, we need to be asking, is this what? Jesus wants us to be doing. We need to be doing it with the right heart, the right reasons. So we can't just ask God for something 
for the wrong reasons. We need to have the right heart and remembering that Jesus is our boss. And the last thing that we want to pay attention to is from the servant again. When we ask God for help with the right heart, we need to expect and believe that he will answer us. Can you remember what the servant asked? Can you remember? He asked something really specific, didn't he? When he was, can you remember? Can you want to remember what he asked? Yeah? What did, yeah, but what, how, did he, how was he going to know which was the right girl? He did ask God to show him. Can you remember how he asked? Was it Seamus? Can you remember what Kennedy read in the passage? That's right. Whichever one was going to offer both him and the camels a drink. So he asked something really specific, didn't he? And did God answer? Did God show him? Was there a girl there who? Uh, yeah, there was. That's right. So he was expecting God to help him and to, to answer his prayers. So the three things we need to remember is we need to ask God. We need to have the right reasons in our heart, and we need to believe that God will answer our prayers. Now, in today's sheets, I think in your kids' sheets, you've got um, different, I think there's colouring in and there's a crossword and different things that, and then there's a little um, find, I can't remember what it's called, like a spot the difference, that's right. There's lots of different th- things in there that, um, that summarises this story for us. And now Kennedy's going to pray for us. Dear God, thank you that you have our best interests at heart. Thank you that your word teaches and guides us, and thank you that you're a loving father who wants to hear from your children. Please help us to seek you by praying and reading your word. Help us to always go to you first when making decisions. Help us to remember that Jesus is our boss. Help us to want the things that he wants. Help us to have the faith to believe that you will answer our prayers. Amen.